This video is about using database connections with dplyr pipelines to use dplyr to run commands inside the database. If you're already familiar with dplyr but not as comfortable with SQL, it's possible to use dplyr commands to interact directly with a database. So let's look at this using the same query that we performed last time using SQL, where we want to count the number of individuals associated with each species ID. We start by creating a connection to an individual table or multiple tables, if we want to work with multiple tables, using the TBL function like we did a couple of videos ago. So remember, we can create a linked version of the table in R by coming up with the name that we want to apply to that table, surveys in this case, and then running the TBL function with the connection that we've made to the database, portal DB, and then the name of the table that we want to connect to in quotes. So for this query, that's the surveys table. Once we have this connection, we can then work with it just like it's a data frame using dplyr. And so let's create a output variable called species counts. And we'll then build a dplyr pipeline for working with this. And so we're going to start with the surveys data. I will then pipe that into the group by function, because in dplyr we group things first. So we're going to say group by, and we want to group by the species ID column, because we want to get a count for each species ID. And then we want to summarize to create a count column that is a count of the number of rows with each species ID, which we do with this n function. And if I run this, we'll get back a species counts object that we can look at. And we'll see that it has this same output that we're looking for with a count associated with each species ID. And even though we wrote this as a dplyr pipeline, all of this work was actually done in the database itself. And that happened because dbplyr helped translate our dplyr pipeline into SQL and then run everything in the database. And so that means that all of the benefits of working faster and working with out of memory scale data are available to us without needing to know how to write the SQL. We can just use our dplyr pipeline like we have before, but with a table that's a database connection instead of a data frame in R. Now, as with other cases, we can see that when we do this, the resulting data is still in the database. And so if we want to bring it back so that we can do additional work with it in R, we can add one final step in our pipeline, which is to add the collect function at the end. And now we'll see that species counts shows up in the data section of our global environment, and we can open it just like a data frame, because that's now what it is. So that's how we can connect to a database and work with the data in that database directly using dplyr functions. We create a connection to each table we need to work with using the tbl function. And then we treat that table just like we would a data frame in our dplyr pipeline and then if we want to get the results of that pipeline back into R so that we can work with them further, we run the collect function as the last command 
in the pipeline. This... Ah, <laughs>